I'm going to show you how to install some sliding doors. The tools I'm going to be using are my impact driver and drill. I've got my ruler and tape, pencil and drill bits, my spanner, screwdriver, my door tracks, screws, door stops, a square for doing some lines. I've got my workhorses here putting my doors on so I can install the top of my door trucks. Step ladder, spirit level, my two tracks, and of course my two doors. The type of doors I'm going to use are some made to water doors. They're a little bit higher than a standard door. They've also got some glass in. They'll allow a lot of light to pass through the room. But you can pick solid timber doors, doors that suit your uh, style already that in your house. Uh, painted or stained, there's many different styles you can use. So pick which one's the best. My first step is to put my tracks up. I need to find the center of the door opening itself. To do that, I'm going to measure it, center it, and then put a mark up in here. So I'm exactly the center of the doorway, and that way I can put either track either side. It is important when you look at installing sliding doors that you do check with the instructions that come with your kit. They will tell you the heights that you need above your door for your track height and your, your runner height and any recommended floor clearances as well. One of the other things you will need to do is make sure that the timber you're fixing to is nice and level as well. It is reasonably crucial that when you put your rollers tracks in that they are nice and level. I've worked out the height that I need my track to go into. I'm now going to drill and screw it into position. I've got the first track up. Now it's the same process whilst I put the second side of the track up. I'm now going to install the wheels for the doors to run along the track. Now again, referring back to the instructions that come with your kit, my instructions tell me that the edge of my roller must be 75 mil away from the edge of my door. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure and mark those. Once that's done, we'll pre-drill and screw those onto the door. I've now measured and marked according to my instructions and I'm going to put a centre line in there so I can pre-drill and screw my wheel on. Now I'll do the same thing on the other side of the door and repeat that same process on my second door. I'm going to hang my door now onto my track. What I've done is I've loosened this off a little bit. It makes it a little bit easier to try and get it sitting up on top of the track. And of course, if you find that these doors are a little bit too big for you, get a friend to give you a hand. So this is my door guide I'm now going to install. It needs to be done before I do my final adjustments. It's adjustable in its width, so it's designed to go at the base of the door and it stops the door from flapping around and just keeps it running nice and smooth at the floor. When installing your door guides at the base of your door, consider the finished height of your door and any floor coverings that you've got. I've installed both door runners now and that keeps the bottom of both doors nice and aligned and nice and secure. Now I'm going to adjust the height of both of the doors and make sure they're in line. I've got this door in the centre. I now need to bring this one along to meet it. And with the adjustments up the top, I can now get the height right and close up this gap down the middle. So I'm going to use this spanner here, and then I'll allow me to lift the door up and down and make final adjustments to make sure they're all nice and flush. Next step will be to install the bump stops. And what these do, they stop the door from travelling too far in either direction. These holes were pre-drilled to take these bump stops. So it's just a matter of aligning the bump stop over those holes, closest one to the wheel on top of the door, and that's where I fit it off. I've installed the center bump stops on the door now. The next thing I need to do is install these end stops. That stops the door from traveling off the end of the track. I've got three holes up in the top there, that's used for locating the screws through this bump stop and it also secures the last part of the track. And that's installation finished. The last thing I do now is to really tidy it up is to be put a pelmet over the top and that's how you install sliding doors.